The Sunday School lesson for December the 18th, 2022 is entitled, John the Baptist Appears, based on Luke chapter 3, verses 2b through 6, and verses 15 through 18. To the viewers and subscribers, welcome to my channel, The Backstory. I am Audrey. If you are new here, please know that on this channel, you will become aware of the events that take place before each Sunday school lesson. The agenda is as follows. I will share the backstory, read the lesson text, and offer a brief lesson summary. If you have not done so already, please subscribe. Thank you so much in advance for your support. The backstory, let's begin. John the Baptist, all four gospels tell the story of John the Baptist, a forerunner of Jesus. Matthew chapter three, verses one through 12, Mark chapter 1, verses 1 through 8, Luke chapter 1, verses 5 through 25, and verses 57 through 66, John chapter 1, verses 19 through 34, and chapter 3, verses 22 through 36. John the Baptist came as the last prophet of Israel, and his task is recorded in Luke chapter 1, verse 17. And he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Luke sets the context of John's public ministry within the political and religious context of the day. Luke mentions, among others, Tiberius Caesar, Roman Emperor, A.D. 14 through 37, Pontius Pilate, Governor of Judea, A.D. 26 through 36, Herod Antipas, Tetrarch of Galilee and Perea, 4 B.C. through A.D. 39, and two high priests variously served A.D. 7 through 36. Luke states that the narrative of John the Baptist in today's text occurred in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar. Luke's references to these leaders do more than establish a time frame for events recorded in his gospel. The inclusion of these rulers reminds Luke's intended audience, which may be primarily Gentile in background, that the Jewish people of this time lived under foreign Roman occupation. They were waiting for a savior who would free them from foreign occupation. John, however, came into this context preaching a different message of a different sort of salvation. John the Baptist appears, Luke chapter three, verses two B through six and verses 15 through 18. Key text, he went into all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, Luke chapter three, verse three. Verse 2b, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. Verse 3, he went into all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Verse 4, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. Verse 5. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads shall become straight. The rough ways smooth. Verse 6. And all the people will see God's salvation. Verse 15. The people were waiting expectantly 
and were all wondering in their hearts if John might possibly be the Messiah. Verse 16, John answered them all, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I will come, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Verse 17, his winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Verse 18, and with many other words, John exhorted the people and proclaimed the good news to them. A brief summary. John came as a forerunner for Christ and a prophet to the people. He served the cause of Christ by baptizing people into a life of repentance and proclaiming the imminent arrival of God's salvation. Throughout the ministry of John the Baptist, he proclaimed good news, encouraged the downtrodden, and upset powerful leaders. Though scripture is mostly silent regarding his time in the wilderness, Matthew 3 and 4, he came from that place with a message that would change the world. How might a wilderness experience prepare you to proclaim God's message of salvation through Jesus Christ? These experiences may cost you. Wilderness experiences may not bring you a life filled with the world's measures of comfort, power, wealth, or honor. Instead, Jesus' followers are called to follow him and proclaim the good news of his salvation. In this sense, all believers prepare the world for the way for the Lord. Thank you so much for watching. Join me soon for the next backstory. Stay safe.